Alright. I think I am now active. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to go and wake up the play cards. Actually, where's the description? This is fine. Okay, cool. So basically the idea is I am going to go wake up all of the play cards on the map. We're starting on just like the standard zone for now. Um, and then we're going to try and play through dealing with a whole bunch of infestations, sieges and such. And we're going to try and beat the map um, as best we can. Um, I haven't quite determined if we're going to move bases at all. Um, I do like the builder supply, um, but I'm not going to try and start any uh, plague hearts just off in the beginning. I'm mostly just going to keep playing the game, dealing with the infestation. So I'm going to try and complete these quests and such, um, all while these are all active. Um, and it should be a pretty annoying time. Uh, I did bring some community members from a high. Uh, basically finished community that had most of their characters up their stats high I just kind of went around and did a couple things uh, before um, this person started in this so she also has lived in squalor which isn't great for me um, but on standard mode it should be fine so and then I might slowly bring people in from my legacy pool as time goes on um, but we will see some caffeine in me before I start. Alright. Let the shit show begin. So I'm going to take... Do I have anything with a super... Oh, the suppressor. Right. I've got... A lot of... 7-6. So I'm going to take that... I'm going to give it an advanced suppressor to try and help keep the zombies off me a bit. And then we're just going to go shoot each each one once. Grab a scent block and a plague cure just in case. A couple stimulants. A couple of strong painkillers just in case. Because things could go wrong while I just am even doing this. Um, so doesn't hurt to be prepared. I have another task for you. Details forthcoming. Throw those in there. Keep that on me. Throw that in there. 
Okay, cool. So let's just... I'm going to do this one last. I'm going to start over in this town because it's just easier to go hit all of these first. That way I can also make sure I don't have a huge siege right off my... right off the beginning. Sticking around here too long would not be smart. So... This is the, um, this is the standard zone, so there's only going to be a few play cards. Um, my goal is sort of to go up higher as time goes on, so eventually we would get to a lethal playthrough of these, just using the same community, um, just every time I complete the map, just moving to a new one, upping the difficulty. Um, I'm not sure if that would just be the map difficulty because obviously I'm going to need lots of materials to deal with all of these sieges and stuff, but this is also a good way to farm prestige. At least it should be because of all the sieges that I'll have to deal with. So that should be nice. I, I have plenty of it, but you know. get this first play card awake. So it's over here. burninator so that I can just always go like this if I need to. Very helpful. And now we go to the next one. I think we just put that on my map. We'll hit different. Actually, let's hit this one first and then we'll kind of loop back around. So, now that that one's woken up, uh, it should start producing infestations, which will be hopefully a pain in my ass. Because I, I think that's sort of the goal, is to just kind of deal with as much shit as this game can throw at me on Standard Zone. Now, thank God we don't have blood ferals on this difficulty. from there. I think I can. Yep, there we go. Get it in. Go there. And this is not the road. Apparently I uh, actually damaged that one pretty well with that one shot that gave me the screaming. That's okay. Now we're going to go hit that one and we'll loop back around. Whoop! Drifted a little too hard there. Soon we should start seeing infestations pop up. The next order of business after I actually go through and do all of this will be to set up some outposts. That way I can set up some trap zones in case we need to use the bombing that I can use for it. Um, that should help me to prevent some of like the infestations getting closer to the base. Alright, and... 
What? I missed. Oh, I hit that beam. Alright, another one open. Get out of here. Right, I think we need to go a little bit south. And then there should be a road up on my left. Okay. Oh, I crashed. That's okay. I will also have to refuel soon. I gotta keep that in mind when I stop. Alright. Barn, that's fine. Oh, nice, I can see it right from there. Boom. Get in. Bring those bad boys. Let's see, where's the next one now? <laughs> yes, you can share the stream with people. All right, we're going to head all the way to the south a bit. Actually, where am I going here? Um, I should probably go that way. Hello out there. My name is Ray Johnson. You don't know me, but I'd like you to become my neighbor. So, uh, when I actually started this playthrough, I did not realize that my current character doesn't have standing executions, it's just executions from the front, um, which is kind of annoying. Um, I probably will switch off her for a while after I wake up all the play cards. I guess I should do her quest while I'm at it too, but um, we don't want... We want to make it easier while we're out and about. That way, I don't have to do as much actual work when fighting shit. I can just take care of stuff. Before we get into play card zone, I'm going to stop and refuel. So the Burninator is a great, great vehicle, but it also does eat up fuel once I use the flame on it. So it's part of the thing where it's just like a cost. It does it might save me a door, but it can sometimes eat up fuel pretty quickly. Is it in town or is it? Yeah, it's in town. Cool. Wasn't sure if it, I was going to have to offer it a little bit there. Looks like I'm good. Nice garage. Wakey wakey. Alright, and now I run. Alright, get up that one. And soon we will have woken up all of them. I think I've I think I've got five out of seven or four out of seven. I don't even know. I'm just throwing numbers out my ass. I know I've done at least five, six, maybe seven. I don't know. I don't even know how many there are right now. Uh-oh. Oh! oh. Ouch. I think it's in this back room. I'm just gonna jump right up in here. Oop. Oop. Oh, it's in that bathroom, isn't it? It is. Jump out the window. Jump over that, and away we go. See, look at that. Barely damaged. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. Alright, next one. So there's going to be two in this town up, coming up. Actually, is this... A, is there a... 
there's a food outpost I see on my way. I'll actually get that. That way I can get yeah, right here. Quickly make this. That way I don't have to drive all the way back over here. so weird going from lethal zone where you oftentimes don't find anything to get to getting like three rucksacks per oh, per area it's just it's almost like a, oh my god i will take everything here i need it all Those two, and then the one near our base. And then we will be good to just kind of go off and play while the game tries to murder me. I do not want to know what makes Plague Territory smell this bad. Alright. It's also nice because I get to see where all of the Plague Hearts are on this difficulty. On lethal mode, this would be a pain in the ass because I'd have to find them all and then wake them all up. I guess I could just start killing things willy-nilly. Uh -huh. right, I think it was... <laughs> Almost crashed there, that's fine. Wouldn't be wouldn't be new. Alright, let's try and get in here and this time not cause a huge fuss. And we've already caused the fuss. Alright. Out the window. Back to the truck. Haha, <laughs> dumb bastards. Hey, get off that. Get off that. Get off that. He deserved it. Yeah, we're gonna crash, it's fine. Alright, uh, I'm gonna take care of that quest real quick, that way I can switch off this person. Oh, actually, this is stolen meds. Uh, I don't know if I care about that. It's a sheriff quest. Uh, I guess I'll do it. Just the right way. Uh, kind of the right way, I guess. I can make it the right way. if I don't crash my car at literally every opportunity. <laughs> it's fine. Let's see Apocalypse. No one's going to no one's going to sue, I don't think. They might, but I'll just be like, bro, where are you going to find a lawyer in this economy? Hello, anybody home? Either way, it says add as a follow, I guess. Alright. Now remember, no shooting. Now where are we going? Oh, we're going all the way over there? I'm gonna have to bring him back to something. Oh shit, I'm going to get into a firefight with these guys. Okay, well, it's a good thing I brought a gun. I didn't even read what the thing said. Travel with Christopher to the peeling blue shed to put an end to the thieves. Okay. Let's just hope this isn't the first character death. Now, in this game, the most dangerous enemies are the humans. Oh, and we already have our first infestation spawn. Very nice. Christopher, don't mind. Oh, not bad, not bad. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do here. There's a question mark here. Am 
might as well do the survey while I'm at it. Yeah, yeah, you're tired, I gotcha. Ooh, more ammo, nice. Look at that. More survivors. Yay. Horde. Keep that scream quiet. Loader. Loader. Oh, oh hey, that's an infesting up. horde. Should probably take care of that. But I don't think I will. That looks potentially drivable. Alright. Move, Christopher. We're going down. You're lucky I've been helping you out here, dude. Search this too. It's locked. Figures. And not jamming that thing open. Yeah, I'm laughing on the inside. Nice. Hello, hello. How's it going? So, uh, for newcomers, I am. Basically playing this game as an RTS right now. I'm waking up all the play cards, which will do a whole bunch of stuff to try and kill me. Send sieges to my base. Um, infestations everywhere. Whole bunch of stuff. I'm doing the campaign right now. Um, it's just on standard mode. Um, but this is sort of just a, a new way that I want to try playing the game. Just like waking up all the play cards, being like, hey guys. Come kill me if you can. Uh, and they probably can. Def definitely can. Um, so, you know, I think it'll be a cool up. God damn it. Especially if I keep crashing. Alright, here we go. Firefight time. Come on. There is a zombie there, sir. Oh my god. Oh, she is dead. Ah! Kill that guy. Did Christopher die? Yeah, Christopher died. Oh, that's. Sucks for him, I guess. I'll take that gun, though. Those firecrackers. Already got all I can handle. Now I have to go back and be like, hey. Your boy's dead. That is that is hey, hey, listen man. My life, my driving skills are none of your business. They're a little your business, but you know, it's fine. Uh, also, I don't really care about Christopher. I was just like, I should probably do that quest while I was there. And, uh, wait, was I the one that shot Christopher? Did I kill Christopher? I might have killed Christopher. At least I got some meds, though, you know. <laughs> Small price to pay for salvation. Oh, I want those stems. I guess I do need to. I will drop. Molotov. Take oh, that. Throw that in there. Uh, what was I? What was my? What was my plan here? Fuel my car. Litter everywhere. I guess. Um. I'll take that back, grab that. I, I don't understand what I was doing here. Throw that in there for now. That's a lot of stuff. You know, even with the quality of life improvement on their shit, I still have issues with inventory. Let's see if any of these guys also oh, have a gun. If only they didn't all die right in the doorway too that would have been nice oh my gosh I do not want to open the door please stop okay well I guess that play example will do I'm not gonna stick around here much longer I gotta go give the bad news that I may or may not have 
murdered someone. It's fine. Totally fine. Chris, you know, he kind of deserved it. I mean, like, he wanted to just go kill those people, and, like, he probably could have just, like, threatened them enough or something. You know, he didn't have to go hands down, and I wasted a lot of ammunition on that. Like, he's lucky that I tried helping. You know? He did try his hardest. That I'll give him that. Um, but then again, you know, like, friendly fire, it could happen to anyone. So, it just do be like that sometimes. I mean, just look at that zombie. He didn't ask for that. Well, like I said, I tried. I, I can't be perfect. I mean, do you know how many, how many times I've accidentally murdered people in this game? Not many, but he's one of the few that have. Besides, I, I don't really like escort quests, so, you know, it's his fault for giving me an escort quest. Like, no one should be forced to do that. Hey, Hannah, sorry about that. I will give you... Oh, wait, actually, I can learn that's right. Oh, she's got a computer. Yeah. Even though I already have hacking, you know, I'll just be like, you can join us instead. You go ahead, and I'll meet up with you later. Or... You're okay. Awesome. Yep, I just killed her partner and then was like, yeah, but it's okay, you can join us instead. It's totally fine, you know? You didn't need him, you have me now. See, it's perfect. I see this as an absolute win. She'll be one of the, she'll be some of the best cannon fodder for the sieges. You know, it's 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 all working well. Now I just gotta go wake up that last plague heart and away we go. Then I gotta go find some cop or something for Mia. Which will probably take me to an infestation zone. I'm just going to call them infestation zones now because uh Eventually, the infestations will be much more deadly than the plague because there will just be ferals and bloaters and screamers everywhere, um, which would be fun. I, I, I actually am kind of excited to see how I how I manage to get through this. I'm not going to start taking out plague hearts for a while, I don't think, just so that I can like fully grasp the consequences of my actions. In that bad boy around. Okay, How did I do this job again? Yeah, fuck you. Oh, there it is. Oh, I missed, bro. It was right in front of me. I blame the colliders on that. I didn't. I definitely not my shooting. My shooting was perfect. All right. I'm pretty sure that means all of the plague hearts are now awakened. So I can just go home and pretend that I didn't do anything wrong. There's definitely no sun in my eyes. It was the plague the plague mist. That that's it. Alright, get rid of that bad boy. Now let's get this bitch a cannon, and we will then swap off to Mia so that we can find her brother or something. I guess I should give her the Stormbringer. Mia! Switch the character. Alright. Alright, I gotta travel- oh wait, she has a cannon. Let's swap her off first. No, come on. Come on, let me talk to Fa. That bitch of cannon. How if anything so much of thinks of coming to attack me, they get cannoned. Wow, Brian, okay. 
tell us how you really feel, man. Oh, we only have minus one bed. Oh, freaking cry, baby. You can sleep on the ground. It's the fucking apocalypse, man. Alright, make sure I have some stuff and everything. Uh, I don't think I need a water cooler in my storage. Let's see what our... So what we're really gonna start needing to get is more ammo and materials, I think. So I'm going to upgrade that and see if we can find a materials uh, place. I'll grab a couple of those, just in case. Grab a couple of those. Grab a couple of those. Okay. I think I've got my bases covered. Thank you, Fal. I I do agree. Let's let's use our brains and not just feed them to the zombies. That good advice, I guess. Alright. Because I forgot to grab a second one. Grab that. And boom. Oh, we've already got another infestation coming. Beautiful. So let's see, I need to go to the police precinct, which is all the way on the other side of the map. Hooray! Okay, let's do it. Yeah, I'm not going to make that traitor in time. Wild dogs need play examples, where are they? I guess I could do that on the way, I have a ton of them. Grab a couple play examples. I know that'll be way too many, but I don't know how many they want, and I don't feel like finding them after the fact. So, I'll I'm on my way put to that you. first. This is fine. Just don't, just don't watch me drive. It's okay. I promise I've been doing this for for a long time. Oh, that's my new survivor, just running back, just high-tailing it. You see, I don't know why they weren't just like, yeah, bring me home with that truck that you have. They were just like, nah, it's okay, I'll get there. Just let me go through play card area, just run past a few ferals and screamers. I, don't worry, I'll handle it. It's fine, completely fine. You know. Because after all, why shouldn't they fight for their own, take the path of most resistance. Hey, it's Feral. Hi, buddy. Man, the Blood Ferals are so much worse on Lethal Zone. Like, sometimes I'm like, oh god, Feral, and I'm like panicking, like, I don't have a gun, what do I do? And uh, then I realize all I have to do is like, walk away, because it's not a Blood Feral. It doesn't really matter. They've got squishy heads. Blood ferals have like armor, <laughs> armored heads. Hey, I need. I there you go. Enjoy. Of course. There we go. Standing executions. All right, now we go find my character's brother or something. Oh, stepbrother. Okay. It. Like, we, for instance, can check out at the end. Okay, thank you, broadcaster. I, I don't know what that means, but... Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm just trying to find my stepbrother, not screw him. Hey, there's a supply drop or something over there. Let's go do that. Probably gonna get my ass kicked when I do it, but, you know... That's what we're here for, are we not? Hey. I don't need any sass from you. Oh yeah, it's totally gonna be a wave survival. And now I stealth. Confirmation. Oh! An assault rifle? A gambler hat? Very nice. 
I think it's funny that when those things explode, they just don't make any noise. Like, on the map. Which is really funny because, like, they're pretty loud. They also make that annoying, like, echo sound. But I don't know what to- hey, it's a juggernaut. Please disregard all crashes and vandalism that I cause with this car. It's completely fine. It's the apocalypse, no one cares. I think. Okay, and... Hey, we've already got a level 2 infestation, that's fun. Eventually we'll start trying to siege my, my base. Secure the damage tower, discover the tower location. Oh, what? Oh, I'm gonna have to take care of that. I need them, my influence. Oh, okay. That's going to be my next thing. Hey, I think I know which tower is being problematic. It, I love how it's like, yeah, you need to figure out which tower it is, and then my people are just like, yeah, no, I think I know which one it is. Okay. Sounds good, I guess. Makes sense. Save me, save me the effort. That is not a breakable pole, apparently. Alright. We're just going to drive over here. Oh, that's feral! See? Much better. Time to just jump around. See, easy money. As long as that, that being said, this is like a high level character, so. You know. I need to search. Okay, Alright, that's not bad. Ammunition, I'll need that. Uh, torn sheet of paper. Okay, but well that's not very helpful. Let's see. Maybe the, the roster is. Why is the roster in the in the med supplies? What? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to take that, but I, I need to go over here. Do, 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 do. I see you go to them. Right, throw that bad boy in there. Ooh, that's the Echo Wraith. What? Um. The roster real quick. I'll have to come back and boot the rest of this because fun stuff. And I didn't even get that much from influence from it because of this. Alright. Let's go take care of that radio issue. Oh, we already have a siege site. Oh, beautiful. We love to see it. Where is the radio site. Do I have to physically go home and talk? Optional. One of them must have info. Ah, you're gonna make me drive all the way home? Okay, whatever. That's fine. Because why worry about gas in the apocalypse? Actually, there's a gas station right there. I'm all finished up. Hey, I'm not good at this, but thanks for Everything. You're welcome. Here. You're welcome, random survivor that I picked up off the streets. Just in the trunk. I have room in the trunk. Beautiful. If I can find another one, that would be nice. Or maybe I can find a blood sack too. Blood sack. Excuse me, plague zombie. You're gonna have to get out of here. I'm in the middle of robbing you. Uh, okay, don't really care about those right now. Why break one window when you could break two? I think I just wandered into plague territory. Alright, let's go home. 
go deal with what we started. Is it faster to go? Nope, there's no faster way. Beautiful. Alright. I guess we shall go around the long way. Drive through some trees real quick. Onto some road, do some sick drifts, you know. Really show that uh, it's it's a style of driving, not incompetency. Because uh, we like to just drive around, not being incompetent. Ah, it's fine. It's okay, I avoided the massive target of a building. We got it. My filter did not like me doing that. <laughs> Over this bridge. That's Juggernaut. We're just gonna keep driving. Oh my God! Rookie mistake. You can't afford to be making rookie rookie mistakes right now. All right, where are they? Oh, okay, they're not too far away. I'll take care of them once I'm done talking about the uh, issue with my people about the cell tower because I'd really like to not have doing tricks as the number one priority while driving the apocalypse yep you, you know it I mean if you can't look if you can't style on some zombies what are you even doing you know you know what Farrell uh, he jumped out of the way what a loser that screamer was like I will have none of this There are a lot of people for a zombie apocalypse. I know, right? Like, and they sure want an awful lot from me. <laughs> like every every twist and turn on the road, it's just like, hey, uh, do you mind? Fuck that well, screamer, am I right? Oh, there was a bloater there. I almost just, I almost just made a huge mistake. It's okay. It's fine. Apparently he got stuck in my wheel. <laughs> this is parking at its finest. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Get rid of some of this stuff. I honestly don't even need that gun, probably. Alright. Fa, where are you? There you are. Ask about the tower location. I know we have more infestations, that's the point. So you're, oh, okay, it's, it, oh, I gotta go all, ah, I gotta go all the way back over there. All right, I'm gonna talk to these guys first to see what they need. Um, the wrench turners, I believe they're the people that end up going to one of the, uh, one of the mechanic shops, so I'll have to be prepared to probably do that at some point, give them a new base location, which isn't like a difficult mission, it can just be kind of annoying, usually out of the way too, but what's what's the, what's new from that? We're just going to off-road this here a little bit. Wandering trader? Uh, so many things are happening. That's fine. Wait, hold on. Talk to Steve. What do you want? Go ahead and apprentice crash a truck and ditch it. I'm gonna horse shit up. Can you help me? Yeah, I guess. Where are we going? I'm fine, by the way. Thanks for asking. Okay, dude. Don't be melodramatic. You crash the truck. Oh, so you're like, uh, oh crap, are they? Okay, they're headed to an infestation. So they can actually infest our outposts, and if they do that, they actually, like, take over it, and I don't get the materials from it. So if they ever start doing that, I'm going to just simply activate the bombs 
So I can activate outpost defenses and use bombs for one ammo, which honestly I'm just going to do that now. Blow that infestation right off the map, or blow that thing right off the map, I think. Should work at least. Actually, did I do it at the wrong one? No, okay, it did work. Um, I still don't know where I'm going for this. Oh, I'm going right there. Okay, cool. That's that's pretty quick. So I'm gonna do that, bring this guy back, then go and deal with that. Oh, oh, okay, not what I meant to do. That's fine. Doing uh, doing some, doing some drunk uh, jumps with the tra truck. It's fine. That that's fine. Um, I promise you, I am decent at this game. Hey, it's a Norma. Grab the parts. Okay, now I just literally drive back to the base. Oh my god, why do you keep giving me stuff? Don't give me more stuff to do, goddammit. Do I want to talk? Um, I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. See, that was an intentional jump. It's different. Yes, I'm delivering you the parts now. There Thanks. you go. Have a nice day, Steve. Kill these bastards. What type of trader is this? It's a food trader. I don't think I'll need to worry about that. Um, am I Mia? I am Mia. Okay. I'll put that on the map. They are awesome. They're in the town right next to the cell tower, so I can do that at the same time. So that that's actually pretty good. Now, if there's ever a siege, I need to head home immediately, no matter what you didn't see that. That didn't happen. I didn't just jump my truck into a telephone pole. That I promise you that did not happen. <laughs> you are simply tripping. Alright, just gonna head right there. It wants me to talk to Hannah about her concerns, but in all honesty, I don't really give a fuck about what Hannah thinks. She's kind of just someone I brought onto the team because I killed her friend, so uh, it's fine. I feel I feel no remorse for Chris. Okay, I feel a little remorse for Chris. He probably would have been a cool guy, but you know, it's fine. I feel no remorse towards Hannah for Chris. I feel remorse towards Chris that I got Chris killed and maybe shot him in the head. At least he didn't turn into a zombie, you know. The, I gave him that, you know. So it, it, it's fine. It, it all works out. I'm going to have to refuel my truck soon. Oh, yeah, I think there's a juggernaut in this town right near the tower, too, which is going to be a little bit of a pain because I did not bring a gun. So uh, we'll see how that goes. All right, where is this tower? Uh, there it is. Across the bridge. Right. Ooh, there's a repair van here, and there's a feral too. That's a screamer. And That's there's a fat screamer. All right, that feral's coming at me, so I'm just going to fucking fight it. Come on. Two, three, four, five, six. Ouch, ouch, ow. Fuck you, buddy. Fuck you, buddy. Come on. Yeah. I only took minor damage there. Not, not too shabby, not too shabby. We're gonna fuel up the truck now so that if this does not go well, I can just run into the truck and leave. <laughs> okay, Cammy. Thanks. Thanks for that. She she really does not like Red Devil. Alright, and you die. I 
think I need to fully. What do I even need to do here? I guess it's better than nothing. Like, I made it here. We're just gonna let that guy do him. So I need to locate and secure so it can be repaired. Okay, I guess I just gotta kill all the zombies nearby. Does this count as secured? I, I, I don't think it does. I don't have to like, oh, I have to climb it, don't I? Yeah, I have to climb it. Alright, that zombie is going to try and break out. My character is not jacked, they're just really good with bladed weapons. I mean, does she look jacked? I'm, I mean, okay, so she was also a red talent operator. So they're basically like a group of mercs in the world. And uh, they're kind of dicks, to be completely honest. Throughout everything, you kind of learn that they could possibly be enslaving people uh, to like work in mines and do industry stuff as they try and rebuild the world from ground up, but they're taking kind of a uh, not very cool way to do it approach. I'm missing one thing. There it is. Ooh, someone just gave me an AR-15. Very American of them. So this count is secured. Fuck you. Did this work? If I have to clear the play heart, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here because that's not how I'm playing this game right now. Yeah, site not secure, play carry. Okay, well, I just can't do it then. Sucks. I'm not doing a play heart right now. Kind of defeats the purpose of this playthrough. We're gonna go do the trader friend in need now. That's fine. This is fine. Just remember, these people were not actually uh, real people to begin with. They've always been zombies. So it doesn't matter. And... Their family's probably dead too, so I don't have any. I don't have to feel bad about killing them, you know. I guess I can. You want a frequent trade any resource? Bye now. Red sack with the unbroken. You want me to go? Ah, okay, fine. We need something big to take that sucker down. Ooh, gas can. Parts. All right, not what I was hoping for. I don't think I've seen a better potential outpost than that one. All right, I'm going to go to this gas station because the gas station will have, hopefully, a fuel rut sack, which is like not what I need at all. So it's like, if I can get rid of the fuel rut sacks, that's okay. <sighs> This is very stealthy, by the way. Nice. Fuel rut sack. Okay, cool. That's exactly what I needed. Another one, but I'm more in it for the gas can at this point, so... So another thing about this challenge that will actually be kind of helpful is that infestations, uh, any freaks, so the special zombies, uh, will drop items. Uh, so I can kind of farm some items just by killing infestations. Bye now. No, talk to the wrong person. Uh, oh, I need to physically go in and trade with Enclave. Let's okay. Trade, okay. Sure, why not? Oh shit, they have a ton of food. Yeah, I guess I'll buy a sack of potatoes. Okay. I think that's fine, you know? I trade them some fuel, they trade me some potatoes. It's totally fine. So we've got infestations, please don't tell me. Okay, that's still going on, so I'm going to go to that one, 
because if I enter the area, all of the infestation will just kind of be killed because of my explosives. So this is going to be sort of a way that I use to try and take care of these infestations. Just anger them a little bit and then bring them into this explosion zone. It's pretty funny to watch too. Hey guys! Ready? Hey guys, come and fight me, fight me! Why aren't you exploding? There we go! So now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to anger all of these guys in here and just bring them into that zone. Hi! Come on, follow me! Whoop! You missed! Whoop! You missed! Whoop! Whoop! Come on, come and get me! There we go! Oh, I'm on fire! I'm on fire! I did not realize that that would happen. Alright, now I can just kind of go in and clear these screamers out. Ow, ow, ow. Ear hurt. Ow, ow, ow. Alright, I'm going to quickly just run these guys back into the area. That way I don't have to keep fighting these ads. Come on, blow up. There we go. Come on. Alright, these guys I'll just take out. There's only two of them there. You can die. Ouch, ouch. Die and die. Now I can grab anything that's left. There was a bloater in here, so there should be something else. Oh, maybe that bloater dropped the bandage. Anyways, that was the first infestation down, level 3. Took a little bit of damage there, but I'm not too worried about it. She's going to want to go fight an infestation somewhere, which is fine. Oh, we've got two siege ones now. Beautiful. Alright, we'll probably get a siege soon too, which will be fun. Uh, we can figure out how to deal with that when that happens. I don't really want to fight any play cards until we get sieges. That way it's like, you know, a little bit more consequential. Um... Now I can just drive back home. And we will go and deal with one of those infestations because my people will get upset if I don't. Drift! Sort of. That was a pretty lame drift. And then I crashed. It's fine. Just par for the course. Hi, bloater. for nighttime. Now, I don't know how well lit the game is for viewers, but it's not well lit for players either, so nighttime's going to be a little bit annoying, um, but we'll get through it, I think. Damn, he did not die. You know what? Come here. Come here. Damn it, I missed. Why are you not jumping on? There we go. Wait, did he take my door? No, he did not. Ah, don't jump on that! One of you won me, bro. No, 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 don't do that! Uh, so ferals do uh, a lot of damage to your engine if they jump on it, so uh, 
we, uh, we we may have lucked out there a little bit by it not just immediately blowing me up. So, uh, yes, it does get darker than this, by the way. It gets actually pretty dark. Um, this is, like, somewhat dusky still. Um, so, yeah. It's funny because when the official State of Decay team streams, they actually wait until night has ended. Like, the, the main dude uh, will actually just play the game up until it is daytime and then start the stream. So like, And he gets paid to do that too, which is kind of fun. Wish I could do that. Though he is like a, a main designer on the game. I guess he gets more privileges. So we can just throw all of this back in there since take one of those to refuel. But yeah, even they understand that it's a little bit too too dark at night. Um, but they still have not fixed it, so it's just kind of annoying. Right, uh, who wants to go do this? Oh, new girl one wants to do it. Okay. Switch to her. Safe. I'm going to clear out an infestation. If we want to survive, we can't let the zombies take over our town. Here, take this gun. She's got a shitty backpack. My god. No, this is tough. Oh, I don't even have any other backpacks. Okay, well, that's fine. I guess. Where are we going? We're going over there? You don't even want to take out the ones near our base? You want to go over to a barn that we don't even live by? Okay. I guess. Let's grab a crossbow at least so that we have some, some sort of way to fire back. I'm going to take a stim, and I will take some health, and I will take a scent block just in case. Just in case I need to make a hasty retreat. Yeah, I mean, like, to change the entire lighting of the game, they've already done it, like, twice, and, like, this lighting is much better than the previous one. The particles and such are way better. Just, like, total total overhaul. But to do it a third time just so that people don't have to worry about nighttime is kind of silly. Um, you know, especially because, like, it's a zombie game. You kind of want a little bit of tension. I also just wish the night wasn't so long. It's like 30 to 45 minutes long, and it's just like pretty dark. Uh, this is made in Unreal Engine 3, I think? Ah, damn you, Feral. No, we're gonna get some practice. Just beat him with a stick. He was almost dead, too. Kill, kill. There we go. There we go. Alright. Now that I've practiced a little bit, but... Yeah, anyways, uh... Unreal does have some really good lighting. I hope that when they do the next game, it's Unreal 5. That way they can use some of the really cool stuff. Because Lumen looks awesome. Um... We tried using it in a game that I was working on, and it looked pretty nice. It just didn't match with our style. So we had to eventually get over it and not use it. All right, so there's going to be a bloater in here. See if we can find... Oh, I do not have stealth on her. She's a new character. I must remember that. There's one screamer, I think. I just saw his eyes. Right, let's take up a position over here. 
There's one. I missed. Damn it. One screamer down. Where's the other one? I'm looking for red eyes. Okay, it screamed. That's not good for me. I should have brought some fire. That would have helped a lot. Oh, crap! Oh, fuck me. That is unfortunate. Ah, fuck, I missed. Alright, what we're gonna do is we're going to run up Kill the screamer, so we've gotten that taken care of. I don't say it often, but All right. job. So here's the plan. I'm going to take some stims. Actually, I'm just going to run. I'm just going to run. We're just going to start running. I'm going to just kind of run him around. Jump over this fence. Oh, and he grabbed me off the fence. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. See? Dodge, dodge, dodge. We're going to run around back. We're going to get on. And we're just going to... Oh, nope. We're just going to fucking burn. Burn, fuckers, burn. Alright. Successful. Fuck those guys. That's fine. Alright. That's why I use this truck. Uh, because I can just kind of get in it and be like, all of you can die. So there was also a bloater in here, which I want to make sure I kill so that I can get the... Where is the bloater? The bloater in here? The bloater is in here. So, um... Yeah, that's I'm just gonna have to do that. I think there's a horde nearby too. You can hear lots of zombies, so I'm just gonna wait until I that clears up. Um, yep. Oh. I'm just gonna slowly kill off anyone that shows up up a little bit. Ah, yeah. A horde. Oh, a big horde! Come on. Come on. Let me jump. <laughs> Alright, we're just going to start hiding. Maybe they'll lose sight of me. They lost sight of me. Very nice. I guess I got a little greedy. I think I might just leave. Eh, they're, they're right next to my truck. I might as well just go in there. Get that last item, you know. It's fine. Nothing could go wrong. My person's almost got the plague. It's fine. I think I brought a cure in my trunk, so it'll be fine even if something does happen. Ooh, um, oh, first aid kit? Beautiful. Yeah, that was worth it. Alright, just speed this up. Alright, cool. So that was a good first part that um, eventually we'll get a siege the siege sites have been building um, that's when the fun will begin because a whole bunch of zombies and freaks will all charge my base um, and hopefully not give everybody a plague because you know I've only got so many plague cures early on in the game I might actually start making some and to sort of start 
just so that I don't have to worry too much about it. Because um, it would be bad if a bunch of people got to play. Uh, please don't tell me you're going into my... Some of you might be saying, why was that necessary? Because, uh, it was. <sighs> I missed. <sighs> I'm just gonna go... I lost myself. Okay. Ouch. I thought I was going to get behind them. Oh, and I can just beat them up with my truck. It's fine. See, Ford's gone. Barely an inconvenience. Don't mind the gas mileage that's increasing and increasing and increasing every time I use that flame ability. It's completely fine. If I had some fire, I would have just blown them up. Uh, you can blow up uh, bloaters with explosives. I mean, obviously, but like their their bloat gas uh, makes an even bigger explosion. Fuck that fence, am I right? Um, uh, what now? What do you people want from me over here? Let's see. Hey, how about you stay clear of plague zombies? We don't need you getting sick. You have something to do? Speak with Brian. Brian wants to talk or volunteer. Later. Where is Brian? I I I do not see Brian. Oh, he's up here. Never mind then. It's all good. I'm just blind. Let's see, X. Oh no, it's the. Oh god. Okay, so the curveball that just started is juiced up. So they will be able to explode, which is going to be a bit annoying. Oh, I can't do radio at all. I can't do any radio. Oh boy, that's rough, buddy. Okay. Not even do oh my gosh. Okay. I may have to go take out that play card. Because I just I can't just not have radio like radio shit at all. Oh, I gotta take out two of them then. Ah, oh, that's so <laughs> annoying. No, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna stick with the challenge. We're gonna we're we're just gonna not worry about that until the time comes. First, let's heal her, give her some some plague therapy. We're going to stick with her a little bit longer, too, just because I need to level up her skills. They're not very high. Everybody keeps getting injured because I keep taking them out and fighting things. Good plan, good plan. Alright. I don't currently have any quests right now, so I think it might just be time to do some looting gonna go over to these buildings and start doing some looting. That way I can also raise her skills a little bit. Ah. They explode with gunk. Let's see, what is her wits? Is she witty? She's, oh god, she doesn't have any wits. Uh, okay. It's going to take a little while to raise her skills. Oh, and I pissed something off. Right. For now, let's work on cardio because it's faster. I 
don't see any zombies. Oh my god, it is so dark. There's a bloater over there. I can barely see what's going on here. I see a zombie right there. Let's hope there will be things to stealth kill. And yes, they are basically walking methane tanks. Okay, can't fast search because she will immediately alert literally everything in my area. I don't know if people care, but my camera is also covering my ranged weapon. Should I raise that up a bit? Just like it in the corner, you know. It's clear. For the moment at least. But I don't know if people care to see how much ammo I have or anything. Alright, just checking. Okay, time to put this place behind us. Alright. Ooh, was that a lot of shotgun shells? That's great. I don't have a shot I actually might have a shotgun. That should help when it comes to siege time. Because shotguns are pretty powerful. Kill this guy. Oh, look at that. We got some wits. We got some wits. That's true. That that That's actually true. Um, we would not want to cover the map. Um, that would be a little bit annoying to, to look at, I'm, I'm sure. I already got all I can handle. Oh, and I've already... Oh, I guess I'll just use that bandage. That. I'd rather have the shotgun shell. Let's see if we can find a rut sack in here. Locked up tight. <sighs> here we go. All right. That's what I like. Oh, this is a gun locker. Oh, nice. That's actually really nice. Hello. Where is zone? This is in the standard zone, but I'm playing it as sort of like an RTS. So for those that don't know, I went around and woke up every single play card, and I've just been letting them go. Um, so we've already got several infestations going. Uh, we've also got two siege sites. Um, but basically, I'm just going to try and complete any missions I can without killing some plague hurts for now, letting the infestations build up, and we're just going to see what standard zone can throw at me. Um, because, you know, why not? I, I think it's sort of a fun way to do this. Um, I'm a long-time lethal player, so kind of allows me to relax in terms of like actual difficulty but also still have a bit of a challenge. Go back to my base. I think I can run, I don't see much in, in the way. So, but yeah, that, that's sort of the idea of the challenge. Um, I'm gonna wait to kill a bunch of Plague Hearts um, just because I want them to build up on the map. I want the difficulty to sort of increase. Um, I may kill the nearest one once the first bit of sieges are done. That way I don't have to worry about sieges building up super quick. Um, that's sort of the idea. Try and get this person's whips up, wits up a little more. Nice, nice. We're on our way to stealth. So yeah. Um, but right now I'm just sort of waiting for more quests to come in. I, I had to deal with a lot of them earlier. They kept just coming in one at a time. Like every three minutes I'd get a new one. It was a bit intense. I also got someone killed, so if you uh, hear us refer to uh, one unlucky Christopher, uh, yeah, he may or may not have been friendly fired <laughs> while taking out some hostiles, uh, but it's fine. It's fine. He got a quick death. Just one to the head. So, don't have to worry about him anymore. Throw those in there. I'm actually just going to go grab a backpack from someone else. Because this is going to be real annoying if I have to keep walking back here every six slots. Hannah, what do you got? You've got a shitty gun, too. We're going to give you a real gun. This was uh, Christopher's former partner. Uh, 
after I had brought back some bad news that I may or may not have done it, uh, she was just like, so I can join you, I guess? And I was like, um, I guess, if that's what you want. Hi there. She seemed pretty cool with it. Oh, it whoops, no, I won't. You want me to go find your brother right now? It's like midnight, lady. I really need to find more backpacks. Okay, yeah, I'll go take care of her quest just because it gives me something a little bit better to do. More interesting combat than just stealthing, or more interesting than just stealthing around. Switch to this character. Bye. Don't get killed. No, I didn't promise myself I'd take care of that. Welcome, welcome. I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I'm just doing a challenge right now. Uh, it's a, it's, it's a standard zone challenge where I just throw all of the play guards at me at once, sort of. Wake them all up, just let them do their thing. And uh, see if they got the stuff to take me out. Now, if they do take me out, I will be a little bit sad because I brought some of like, my, my favorite survival survivors from different communities. So, hopefully that's not the case and hopefully I can handle it. I think it'll be fine, but I guess we'll see. What was I doing here? to grab some plate consumables just in case. Actually, I think I got one in my truck, so I don't need one of those. Grab a couple of sports drinks and grab a couple of painkillers. But yeah, welcome, welcome. Alright, so we've got some siege sites going, but we need to go find... Oh, he's right by the bounty broker. Maybe I can go grab some bounties too. Um, yeah, I know. Um, it's just like, I, I wanted to sort like, I had the idea and I was like, I kind of want to like do some setup and just kind of like see how things go. Um, oh, a mysterious wandering trader. Oh, that's great. Okay, we'll take care of that next. But uh, basically, I was just like, I want to start on standard mode to begin with, and then move up from there. So like, after I complete a map on standard mode doing this, I'll go up to, to the next one's Dread, and then Nightmare, and then Lethal, I think. I'm normally just on Lethal, so like I don't even know if I've ever completed the game on Dread. I know I've done it on Standard, just to like do quick, easy, or not easy, but more, uh, more fun playthroughs. I like Lethal, but I also think it can be kind of intrusive in gameplay. Like, sometimes Lethal mode just really do get me upset. Um, but, you know... It's like, you can only handle so many blood feral packs uh, when you're not expecting them, you know? Um, so that's kind of why I started on this difficulty. It should just be a little bit easier for, for me to deal with. Especially, <laughs> yeah, lethal only mindset is do, does kill me. Like, it, it makes me... Oh yeah, the blood feral packs, they are... They're, they're something. They, they definitely were like, if we want to die, <laughs> fight off some blood. Oh, oh, shit, shit. Did I just miss something? What, what am I doing here? Where's the, where's the car? Am I blind? Oh, it's up there. Okay. Oh, of course, there's the infestation here. See, this is, this is sort of the stuff that I was like, yeah, this will be fun, um, because there's just random infestations everywhere now. So, we're just gonna be fine here. This is fine. We've got standing executions. I did not bring fire. That was a mistake. Ouch. Okay. This is fine. Oh, that's a bloater. Not fine, not fine, not fine. Please don't bloat my car. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. We got this. We got this. We're gonna get in and we're gonna burninate them. We're just gonna quickly. Oh god, now we've got the siege. Alright, alright, alright. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Just take care of. Oh, I did not realize that bloater club was still there. Oh god, everything's on fire. Grab that. Oh, 
Kill a couple more of these guys. I'm gonna have to go take out that real quick. I don't have time for this. All right, this is fine, this is fine. Everything's fine, grab those. Let's get the fuck out of here. Wait, do I have to like go in that house? Oh god, never mind. gotta go in the house. This is fine. Is someone crying? What? I'm crying, okay. Oh, that's, that's my brother, apparently. Okay, this is fine. Suicide? No. Oh, okay. That's not what I expected. All right. That's fine. Everything's fine. Um, get home safe. Yeah, they do want me to get home safe because uh, they're gonna need me home safe. All right, I've got eight minutes to refuel my car and get home to the siege. Yeah, no room for that. I gotcha, I gotcha. It's fine, it's fine. Come on. Alright, let me feel real quick. Alright, so now we're going to go fight that siege and uh, put some of those shotgun shells to the test, you know? And then after that, we might go for the first play car, um, but honestly... I'm going to prioritize any missions we get over Plague Hearts, um, just because obviously it'll be more fun that way. So, here we go. Up oh, there's another infesting horde. Love to see it, love to see it. Yeah, Screamer, you can keep screaming. I don't care. I ain't dealing with you right now. I will say the big thing that will be an issue will be the... Uh, morale from the infestations as it gets more intense um i will start getting lots of people getting really upset so yeah yeah it, it, it'll be fine it'll be fine hopefully the uh don't mind the driving for people that have been here for a while, they've, they've seen, they've seen the driving, it's fine. They'd definitely give me a license in this world, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, we've, we've gotta just kill some, yeah, everything's fine, everything's fine, it's fine. Don't, don't worry about it. Um, and now we can fail to hit the road, this is fine. I'm not still learning how to drive, I know the controls the controls anything anything more than that and maybe we're still learning but you know it's okay all right so now for anyone who hasn't witnessed a siege you're going to hear the screams of the damned as they charge us and attack it'll be fun we're going to throw that away because we're going to need an actual gun Oh, yep, they're coming. Quickly grab a shotgun. Uh, shotgun, shotgun. Grab a bunch of shells. Wait, did you guys just kill them all? Okay. They do have cannons, so, like, I'm not surprised, but that was kind of lackluster. Oh, there's the Scream of the Damned. Alright, that means they're charging, I think. No, they're just drawing shit nearer. We're gonna let them. We're gonna let them power up. You always gotta kill your enemies at full strength, otherwise uh, they won't learn their lesson, you know? Grab another gun just in case. I have to reload. Okay. We're gonna do... We're gonna go up here. Get a sort of lay of the land. Okay. Okay, they're coming. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to da -da 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 kill some zombies. Come on, bitch. Fuck. 
There's my people using their cannons. Oh wow, they shredded that. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Are those siege sites still there? No, they're not. Okay, cool. That was, uh... Oh yeah, sword play? Sword play is the best. Honestly, like... If I get someone without sword play, I try and respec them. Just because it is... I love sword play. A lot of people will say powerhouse because of the heavy weapons. Easier to kill play cards and stuff like that, but like... G18 auto custom, that melts a play card already. I don't, I don't need anything more than that. So. I mean, also, you can just use heavy weapons. You don't need the specialization for it. Yeah, that, that, that went pretty well. So. Let's go deal with this bullets for a friend. Ugh, why are they always next to the play cards? Modded weapons, um, just like in in general, you like close combat. Close combat's all right. Um, I'll give some people close combat. The modded weapons are cool. Um, they honestly helped me get through lethal at first. Um, like really helped me get through lethal at first. Um, and sometimes I'll I'll keep some. Like if someone gives them to me, I won't like actively mod them myself. Oh, the the BFGs is. Those cannons are fucking awesome. Especially when you can get them full auto. Um, but yeah, they, they definitely got me through lethal the first few times. Like when I was still learning everything. Um, I, I definitely say that once you get better at the game, you don't really need them. But I'm not going to tell people that they shouldn't have them. Because sometimes you really just need them. Like... Like, it can get intense. So, you know. Alright. I'm almost out of gas, so I'm going to have to hit up some gas stations, too. I have lots of fuel resources, so I guess I can just pull stuff out. Um. Oh, yeah, no, they're really fun. Especially because they're 50 cal, you can just kind of, like, melt anything. Even juggernauts will be your bitch for that, you know. All right, last gas can, I think. Yeah. All right. So we're going to have to do some ammo. We're going to have to get ammo here. Is there a gun shop in that town? I don't think there is. Maybe I can check if these guys have some. Hmm. All right, well. Okay, and there's another quest. All right, they're actually closer. I'm going to go do them first because I don't even necessarily know if I care about the bullets for a friend. Oops, was that vehicular manslaughter? Hannah, I do not care about you. You were literally just some person that I killed their friend of and said, yeah, I guess you can join. You, you, your concerns mean nothing to me. Lost them with some red tail and to a feral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you've ever had it where your inventory also kind of like gets stuck. Um, where it's like your person just disappears. Like, their, their zombie just is gone. I had that happen for a while, and that was an awful time. Okay, where did they want me to go? Did I just... Oh, I guess I need to tell him that I'm ready to leave. Okay. Go to the repair shop. Is it the one next to my thing? It's not that one. Okay. Where are we going here? There's some zombies, so I might have to... Ah, it's so dark out. They really just gotta increase some of the brightness on this. Okay, we're going there. And then I guess we'll just swoop around. Should be fine. Alright. I should have checked to see if they had some gas. 
Enclaves normally have at least one gas can. Oh, this is fine. You, you didn't see that. That that didn't happen. I, I will say that was the first time I've ever jumped a guard route. I don't I don't think that's supposed to be possible, but you know, I guess it is. This is very jumpable though. Woo! That dude in the back of the truck be like, bruh, why? <laughs> Uh, totally fine. It would be funny if they made it so that those people Why fell out when the like when the car flipped. Like that would, that would have been a nice touch. Sort of like GTA when you hit stuff. All right, I'm just gonna turn into town. Yeah, it would have been really funny if he just like fell out and I had to like go find him again. Oh. Infestation, of course it is. Alright, I don't have any range of barrel. Alright, that's okay. We can do this. We can do this. It's fine. Come on. We can do this. Come on. Just slowly take out all of them. Get rid of this bastard. Alright. Nice. We do want to take out this barrel, though. Alright. Let's beat, beat his ass. Alright, yeah, good job. Uh. What? Oh, he was talking about his friends. I was like, I was like, here comes the asshole squad. Am I about to have to fight some people? Oh, this is going. This is going to turn into a, an issue later on. I can already see that. Like sure, Alright, they do have gas can. I'll take that because I'm running out. But, all right, we also got a play example here. Nice, nice. And I forgot that there was a zombie nearby. All right. Now let us go and deal with the other stuff that I gotta do, which is this guy. All right, so now we're, I never bring survivors with me. Uh, they just always end up either getting me killed or dying. Um, I care too much about my people for that. If, if there's like escort missions, I'm not gonna say no to them. Um, but chances are they might end up like poor Chris and get a bullet to the head on accident. Uh, it do be like that. Uh, and then I have to deal with Hannah and her dumb concerns. You know. Oh. Okay, these are the alcoholic zombies. We're just gonna pass that. Um, but yeah, typically I don't bring people with me. Um, if I'm doing something like where I know that I'm going to need a lot of like space like if I'm looting a huge area I will bring someone and just kind of use them as a a dump uh, but I don't give them guns because I do not want them to shoot at things so or I'll give one uh, so there's a curveball right now called um, juiced up where all of the alcohols are full, or all of the alcohols, all of the zombies in that area are full of alcohol, so they have a chance to drop alcohol luxury items. Um, but they also explode, so. Yeah, I'm literally right outside. Why are you upset? <laughs> yeah, I'll go search for some ammo. Alright. They did not give me an optional place to find it, so that means I'm just gonna have to find it myself. for ammo here. Please don't tell me I'm going to have to drive back to my base to get some. I should have kept the ammo rut sack I got from the police car. Actually, do I have that? I think I put it in my base, so I don't think I have it. 
Wait, isn't this a gun store right here? No, it's a swine and bovine express. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to go and find one. Do you know? Yeah, I know that they don't use bullets, um, but it's more of like I just don't want them bringing more people to the fight. Like, I try and keep my fights to a minimum, just because, like, things go wrong, ferals just spawn, plague hearts get woken up. So, like, I try and stealth as best I can. Um, but, you know, it, it sometimes gets away from me. We will check to see if I can find a gun store. I know that there's going to be a gun store in Marshall somewhere. Uh, I'll just go to the police station. There should still be more stuff there from when I searched it earlier. I didn't do a full search. So hopefully I can find one there. Murphy's Law in action. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Yeah, and that typically happens to me a lot. Um, I actually, once I get a character maxed out, I usually, unless they're my leader, try and stay off them and just, like, keep going with other people instead. Um, just because sometimes it gets a little bit too, like, ah, I'm going to get this person killed one day. Uh, and then I'd be sad. And then I'd be sad. I know there's also a fuel rut sack here I can grab from earlier. Might as well grab it while I'm as long back. As that plague heart is nearby, I can't hey, I thought I broke this window before. Grab that snack too. But yeah, so typically I just try and, and keep my people alive. Um, but sometimes it don't work out like that. Sorry guys, I'm leaving. And now I will go right around the corner. Right. Hopefully there's nothing respawned in here. I know that there's no... Oh, there is. I didn't search this. Shotgun shells. I'll take that. I'll take it. I'll take it. Is there something... I just missed that. What? Where is that? Okay, we're just gonna skip that one. We can we can find that one later. Oh, come on. This is standard zone. You should give me at least like eight rub sacks of ammo here. C4, nice, nice, nice. That'll help with the with the. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, that'll help with play cards. I can just C4 them. No, but seriously, where are those? Are those in the? Okay, those are out here. Melee weapon. All right. Suppressor. I like that. Like that. Investing horde is on the move. I like that too. If I can get a gun on here, there we go. Um, I can just attach that right now. Take that ammo, and then we'll just leave whatever else is here for the next time I come here. But that was a pretty good haul. That C4 will, will make a difference, I think. Alright, let's go bring that ammo red sack back. Hopefully not get into too many uh, car accidents on the way. And to help facilitate more, I will jump my truck. Because why not? It's totally fine. I'm actually not sure if that damages the vehicle. I probably shouldn't do that. You know, I know I know that I don't do that in lethal, even though it's fun. Just because, like, I don't want to risk blowing myself up. Because I've, I've also can I just I'm just gonna go on a small rant right now. But um, the Vikings in lethal mode, what the hell? Barrels just instantly blow them up. I don't understand. Like, I am missing a door. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot I still had my uh, 
my outpost on, I just heard a massive explosion. I was like, oh, what was that? Someone bring a rocket launcher to the apocalypse or something? No, I, I turned on my uh, outpost defenses earlier to help deal with an infestation. Speaking of infestation, I think that's a horde. I'll just let them take care of it. Not my problem. I guess it's a little my problem. Alright. Absolutely. Don't you worry. Oh, wait. You're gonna help us, right? Oh, I'm talking to the wrong person. I was like, I was like, why aren't you accepting it? Thank you. All right, cool. So we've got that going. Do they have anything good? Oh, they've only got food. I don't really need food. Nice, nice look though. All right, so let's go see what that mysterious wandering trader has. They might have something good. Hi, Juggernaut. I'm still not fighting you. Cry about it. Um, maybe we'll even find some good material rucksacks. I haven't really been able to upgrade my base since I've just been focusing on missions and missions only. Um, so this this should this should give us a little bit of a, a boost as well. Put this shit first. It's, it's going to be at the last one I search too. It always is. Whoa! Oh, hey, it's at the first one. Awesome. Even better. Let's first search for some rucksacks. That is not a rucksack. I probably should have put some stuff in my car. Ooh, five AP rounds. Nice, nice. Physical. I can get those BFGs. I could start my cannon addiction early on. It's probably a good idea. See, is there anything I don't need here? I'll keep the plague samples just in case. Actually, I'm on standard zone. I could probably sell those. I'll keep the shotgun shells though. Keep those. I, uh, I'll sell the parts. I'll throw that in there though. Give myself some space. Alright, trade with my clay. I don't ever use these. I'm just go sell it. Sell those. Sell that. Keep the C4, of course. I'll just sell the pipe that I found there too. Okay, let's see what you've got. So uh, one thing, uh, I have a curveball right now that disables all of my radio commands, but I need to actually get. I need to get the plague heart dead before I can actually solve it. So I've also been just kind of unable to call any radio commands, which has been a pain in the ass. Um, a real pain in the ass, actually. So hopefully we will be able to eventually get that taken care of. I think that's one of the indefinite ones, so it'll just constantly be like that until I take care of it. Um, which is kind of annoying, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm also going to go to these other these other sheds, see if I can find where are they? Good news. The Red Talon facility at Crow Lake is now secure and operational. Now we just have to repeat that effort in every town, suburb, and city from coast to coast. Uh we'll take is our it down there? from all of you out there doing the hard work. It is down there. Ooh. There's also a lot of zombies here. Together, I hope they don't blow up and hurt my car. Did they drop anything good? Nope, they did not drop anything good. Are you in here, I like how it still did the voice line as if I was searching for the person. That's funny. Fuel bomb, or a soda can bomb, not bad. I'm just gonna now go and sell these. Sell a bunch of this stuff. Also, I, I really do think that they did a good job with the Red Talon lore in this game. Because, um, like, you don't want to hate them. Ooh. Poor bastards even had a chance to react. Unknown broadcaster. I could go deal with that. Oh, the Lost Platoon? Oh, nice. They drop lots of ammo. That'll be that'll be a good like okay. use of time. I'll 
keep those seeds for now. Just need a little bit more. Uh, I guess I'll sell them. I can always sell one of the plague cures I have. I think I, I don't think it would hinder me that much. But I'd like to wait on that if I can. This is fine, vertical angles. Oh, logs. Logs. Materials, please. I also have to go and loot that, uh, that gun one, that gun workshop or gun vault that I found earlier. I'm actually gonna go to that, that, uh, oh wait, there's actually a gun case I think over here. I think this usually has a gun case in it, so I'm going to try and go up here. That's a nice big hoard. I'm going to try and avoid those. There we go, gun case. Let's see if we get anything good. Alright, not bad, not bad. Bunch of ammo. I care more about the ammo than the gun, honestly. But, you know, not too bad. So, I'm going to hit up that that gas area and then I will go do that. I'll get that other cannon too. And then I will go back and deal with the Lost Platoon because I want to definitely try and farm some stuff there. A bunch of gas cans, that'll be good. Sorry, can't carry that. Gotta kill these guys. We're going to. We're actually just gonna use this. That was the last one. I don't really need it. I've got two sports strings. I'll just keep that rut sack on me for now. Grab the gas cans. Trunk and see if we can fit anything else from this one. Because, in all honesty, that ah, pipe bomb, someone pipe bomb noise. Do it in spirit for me. Um, if only I had a sidearm, I could throw that. Because I want that. I'll, I'll drop those, take these, throw those in there, where did my let's go, now I can double up those rounds, and that gives me another empty slot for the pipe bomb, and there we go, inventory management, we've done it, oh, but now there's this thing, <sighs> sorry, it's gonna have to stay, I'm just gonna go buy that cannon and then we're, we'll, we'll head to that lost platoon. Hopefully we'll get another siege soon. Uh, that way we can head back to base and do some stuff there. So I will say this is, uh, I, I mentioned this, oh wait, am I in the area for the lost platoon? Oh, nice, I am. Cool, I don't even have to go anywhere. Okay, I probably should have dodged that one, yeah. Fuel bomb! Fucking nice. Oh, damn. They're really giving me ammo. This will be good. This will be really good. Alright, trade those parts. I should probably keep the chemicals. Oh, what do I get rid of here? I need to get... Yeah, I'll get rid of the chemicals. It's for the cannon. We want the cannon. Can unload that and sell the gun. I don't really care about that weapon too much. Hmm. I kind of want that deagle too. 
No, we'll just we'll just call it there for for the moment. Let's uh throw anything we can. I may have to come back for that. I've got too much stuff in my inventory. Grab the fuel bomb. No room for that. No room for that. Anything else I can double up? I could waste the gas can, but I don't think I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna head back to base. We'll we'll come back and fight some of these guys. Don't mind the property damage I'm causing. Don't mind me. Just doing my thing. Alright. Secure the damage to power. I know that I have to do that, but I cannot do that. Oh. I guess it just ended. Okay, I, I didn't have to worry about it. Okay. I did go and secure it, but it because it was Plague Hard Zone, it just doesn't count as secured. It was it was kind of annoying. It, it was pretty annoying. Like I do wish that there was there was a way to secure that. Like it's not really unfair that it happened while I was in Plague ter territory. It's just like a little annoying, you know? Because it's like that takes the the annoyance of that one up from like a two to like a four, because I got to kill a plague heart to take care of it. And to where it was positioned, it was under threat of two plague hearts, so I had to kill two instead of one, you know? They're just trying to give me a hassle. But I shall survive nonetheless. So, up, up we go. Alright, we've got plenty of fuel, so I think I'm going to start converting that into gas cans. Because that's honestly what I'm going to need. I'm sure someone can put this to good use. I'm going to... So I don't need to bring that. Yeah, we've got 28 fuel. I've got no materials, though. I really need to get some materials. What do you want to do? You don't have a quest. Why do you have a quest on there? Alright. So I'm going to go back and hunt some of those. I'm out of influence. We're going to boost it. Friendly broadcast. Yeah, we're going to boost that. I should probably boost my food gain too. Don't have anything for that. She'll be fine. I probably should switch off characters while I'm here. That would be the smart thing to do. I think Brian has standing executions too. Oh, Brian! So now we have a fresh character, we can go in and continue our murder spree over in the platoon area. Get a bunch of weapons, hopefully. Hopefully, that would be the case. Um, get a bunch of ammo, too. Um, so we should be set on that for a while. Um, and then after that, I think we maybe go after one of the plague hearts. I don't want to take them down too quickly, though. Uh, just because it kind of negates the challenge a bit. So we will go do do that. Head back over there in our trusty Burninator. I'm honestly kind of surprised that there haven't been more than one siege yet. I know that they're starting to build up the sites back again, but I, I kind of thought it would be a little faster. Um... It also is... Yeah, Trogdor the Burninator. You know it. Um, 
I will also have to get more outposts because I don't really have any good way to stop infestations from moving. Um, but we'll take care of that after we've dealt with this. Try not to jump the truck. Oh yeah, that would have... Oh, and we're going to jump it anyways. I'm so lucky there was no stump in the way. I am very lucky that there was no stump in the way there. Come on, everybody come over here. I need to start killing you all. Grab that sock. Oh, I did not expect him to run. I just wanted to, him to start yelling to bring more. Okay. Ammo, nice. Three, five, seven rounds. Hey, you fuckers. What's the email? There we go. Taunt. Hey, wants to play. Apparently they did not hear that. Kind of a shame. I ain't being stealthy at all, guys. Oh, these aren't even... These ones don't even drop anything. They're not purple-eyed. Duh. Gotta get back in the area. Come on, bastards. Give me what... Give me some of those... Oh, nice. Five, five, six rounds. Oh, yeah. This this will be good. This will be good. Emote on the zombies. I'm gonna do them dirty. Alright, we got another one coming. The map is my friend. Yep, keep them coming. Standing execution, just all day, every day. Grab a f fuel bomb, nice. Get your ass over here. Who gave all of these zombies equipment like this? Like, come on, man. Alright. I know I certainly would not have given the zombies weapons and bullets. Alright. Oh, a napalm grenade? Nice, we can commit some war crimes with that. See if there's anything here that I can take. Come on, materials, please. Smoke grenade. I've seen better. Actually, the smoke. I say I've seen better, but smoke grenades in this game are actually kind of busted. Like, I used to just kind of like write them off, but like when you're inside a smoke grenade, the zombies just will not attack you at all. It's pretty funny, actually. I'll leave that and back to my car. We don't even need to stealth here because we like the zombies attacking me right now. Come on, give me something good. Yeah, I think this might be just my next half an hour of just killing armored zombies for ammo. Kind of farm some up while we're waiting for more sieges. Exhausted. Alright. Let my guy breathe a little bit here. Actually, I can just sell that. I, I kind of don't need that. Install for speed. Uh, maybe, maybe I should keep that. We'll see. If we get more rut sacks, I'll, I'll take the rut sacks over it and sell it up. I don't need that, though. I really should just get an outpost over here if I'm going to be doing this. Um, is there a good outpost? Site? I mean... I don't even necessarily need it to be a good outpost. Um, I might just claim that fuel place and then just remove it later on. Because, like, in all honesty, I don't really need the fuel right now. Oh, that's a weapon crate. I'm going to have to go back for that. 
Oh no, a bunch of zombies are on my truck. Meet the neighbors, I don't want to. Come on, come on. So now I'm going to make this an outpost, deposit some stuff here. Oh, I don't have the influence. Ah, oh, because of those cannons I bought. Oh, we've got a cone head. Cone head. Hi, cone head. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to do it to you. Okay. Uh, we gotta we gotta think about a new way to do that, I guess. Um, because I do, I do need an outpost to get stuff at. We may have to just kind of drop this segment of the Lost Platoon, which is a little bit of a shame, but if that's the case, that's the case. Um, the second smoke grenade? Nice. Uh, we may just have to go home. I don't have anything that I can put there. Just drop that. I'll take it back, but I just need to put the smoke grenade in the truck first. All right. All right, all right. I do want to go take... I could go and fight some of the stuff that we've seen along the way. Uh, we just got another mission. Ah, that's for her. Yeah, I don't. I don't have a way to get experience right now or influence right now. So I'll sell some stuff at the trader up here. I'll. Probably just sell this gas rucksack because that'll get me some influence. Even then, it's like I don't know if it's worth. Whoop! Hey, I did not want to get in there. Don't! No! 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 Oh, it's gonna damage my car. Unfortunate, but I kind of wish these guys were in hordes. That way, I could. I'm trying to help you here, lady. They are. Armored zombies, you're using a gun. Uh, NPCs, man. I'm looking to do some trading. Okay, I guess so. Yeah, if I sell them that, I could sell them some of this stuff that I got too. I'll sell them the M those. That. I can get plenty of fuel bombs later. I don't use frags that often. And then I sell one of these painkillers, maybe. There we go. All right, now we can now we can go set up that outpost. Um, I may actually just do it right at that that uh, at that tent instead. I don't think that will end the. I don't think that'll end the the curveball. Hopefully it doesn't, but it's the best place to do it, I think. Just in the long term. Site secure. Kill that guy. More ammo. Nice. Play members. Confirm. Okay, so that did not end the curveball, which is good to know. So I can now throw a bunch of stuff in there, and now I can go back to my hunting. The meet the neighbors, I guess I should take care of that. It doesn't hurt having more enclaves on my map. Um, 
just I just don't want to waste this lost platoon. I always have to like waste time in like not do it. So I, I kind of just wanted to farm some ammo. Um, that way I didn't have to use ammo to craft it. But I guess we'll see. Well, I, I think it should be fine. Nice thermite grenade. Oh, that's really nice. Thermite grenade. Those things are great. Probably one of my favorite fire explosives. They take so much to craft, but they're they're pretty worth it when you need to use them on play guards. You know, I think I could be doing this a lot easier. I should probably just go get like a sound a sound thing, that way I just attract all of the zombies instead of just running around chopping them up. Um, investing horde is on the move. Oh no. I would hate for that to happen. Where are my consumables? Right, we've got a few firecrackers. They don't take too much to, to make either. You gotta do it outside of the outpost zone though. work nearly as well as I had hoped. Probably just because there's not many zombies around right now. I may just have to keep running. I just was hoping to find a better way to do it. Alright. We might be able to find some materials up here too. This place is really good for finding materials, like just in general this area. So hopefully I am not going to lose out by coming here and doing this Lost Platoon. More ammo, more ammo. Nice. That's what I like to see. I will say that the Curve Pulse was a great addition to the game. I think that, that they really needed that in order to keep everything fresh. I'm just going to try and be as loud as possible here, you know. We kind of want zombies to attack me. Okay, oh, apparently this dude's uh, wits aren't his max. I need to finish that one. Okay, that one. I was wondering why his executions were kind of slow. Alright, nice. 44 magnum rounds. Once we get a deagle. Maybe too late to avoid a siege. Good! That's the idea. I don't know what the cooldown for sieges are uh, on standard. I know that on lethal there's basically none. So, like, they can just siege and then siege and then siege. Um just typically what I'm used to when I screw up and allow a play guard to wake up. But, you know, hopefully hopefully we'll see a little bit more action. What was that noise? It sounded like 1800 zombies were all roaring at once. Oh, I don't have any stamina. Please stop it. Please stop it. He tri he was e he was the one emoting on me that time. Wanderers gone missing. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's the those guys that were making their friend upset. Maybe being like, oh yeah, I helped too. Do you remember that from a little bit ago? Like literally, that zombie was teabagging me. Not quite. Like he was like he was just like 
crouching as I, like, would crouch. He was just really, really doing it. Alright. I think we've done enough sort of hunting for ammo here. I kind of want to do something else just so that people don't get bored of this. I know I'm kind of getting bored of this. Oh, fuel bomb. Nowhere for that to go. Oh, no. Um, I want the fuel bomb. I don't want the firecrackers. guys. I might honestly just leave those rounds there. Then if I come back and find them, I guess I'll come back and find them. Um, but my car's all the way over there and I don't really want to stop and get them, you know. Plus I don't really use 7. <laughs> I don't really use 762 all that much. Ow. Alright, I'm not gonna fuck with those guys. I'm just I'm just gonna get a move on. We got plenty of stuff to get get done, so. Need to upgrade this bad boy first. All right, let's go and deal with the. Oh, hostile people! What? I don't want. I don't want hostile people. Right. I'm gonna head back to base. Um, to go do the meet the neighbors. Um, because that should be quick. That should just be going in and talking to them. I don't think they ask for anything, usually. So then I can quickly then after that just go right to the other people. I'll have to remember that I don't have standing execution, so... Oh, my car just decided to glitch out of existence for a few, t few frames there. You know, it's fine. Oh, there we go again. It's fine. I wonder if it's just like a camera, camera glitch there. It's kind of funny though. Kill that screamer. He doesn't deserve life. His vocal cords are losers. Hello there. Welcome, welcome. Reality. Oh, I just killed a feral accidentally. I was, I wasn't. I was looking at chat and I just killed a feral. I can't kill ferals in car when I'm trying. It's tired of dealing with my shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair enough. My car does get put through some abuse. Anyways, uh, hello. Um, this is a standard zone challenge. Um, I awakened all the play cards and I'm just letting them do their do their thing. Um, so basically sieges, infestations, all over the place, and I'm just dealing with it. Right. But my car has decided that it did not like being alive anymore. Um, hopefully that is fine. It isn't an issue, but you know, it's gonna take more abuse. Alright, switch to this character. Alright, so let's go focus on doing a couple missions. Uh, we got a bunch from the, got a bunch of ammo from the Lost Platoon. That was helpful. Oh yeah, we're, we're, we're doing pretty good. We will have to worry about the siege coming up soon. Um, but I don't think that'll be too big of an issue right now. There's only two siege sites taken. So, if there is a siege quest happening, we'll, we'll come back, but... I think this stuff takes priority at the moment.
Am I going the wrong way? I'm going the wrong way. Do, 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 do. Don't mind me, just being a little bit of a moron. But more on that later. And we will go and take care of some of these quests. Now hopefully hopefully they don't ask me to go take out those hostiles because Oh hey, look at that. Uh, hi Christopher's body. Uh, it's been a long time. I might as well loot these bodies while I'm here. Oh come on. Just let me inventory please. The bodies, uh, so... Ah, uh, I forgot that I didn't have standing executions. <laughs> I specifically was like, I gotta remember that I don't have those, and then I immediately forgot that I had those, or didn't have those. I'd love to see it. Search. This is Christopher's body, I think. Yeah, poor Christopher. He didn't deserve me ending his life the way I did, but it kinda happened. So, rest in peace, Christopher. And now I have to deal with his dumbass partner, Hannah. She doesn't. She doesn't like what I do. She has a lot of concerns. Sounds dangerous. Oh, five meds. Hell yeah. The potentially dangerous. They're labeled as hostile and they're like, yeah, go meet the potentially dangerous people. I'm going to not go meet the potentially dangerous people first because I only have four shots in the gun that I picked off of a former friend's body. So, uh, I say friend, but not really friend, more like a uh, victim. He was lucky I was helping him. Alright, let's see if these people are going to be... Oh, these are the party animals. You're a zombie now? Perfect. Oh, they're all dead. Okay, cool. Can't do it. I do not have standing executions. I was wondering why they didn't have a an enclave symbol here. I didn't realize they would just be dead though. Okay, well, I'm not going to search their bodies. I don't have room in my inventory already, so. Hey, it looks like my car decided to stop glitching out of existence. So that's nice. Oh, never mind. Spoke too soon. It's still doing it. That's fine. As long as it doesn't immediately, like, kill my character, honestly, it'll, it'll be fine. Visual glitches. Also, crashing into things. Welcome, welcome. Alright, we are on day three. We've had one siege. All of the play carts are awake. Um, honestly, it hasn't been too bad so far. Um, I'm thinking that once we move up to Dread, it'll be a little bit harder. Nightmare will probably be a pain in the ass. But um, I, I think it'll be fine. I think, I think we can handle it. I don't know if I'll even be able to do this on lethal because, you know... Oh yeah, they're immediately just gonna shoot at me, okay. We're gonna go back to the outpost real quick. Uh, that way I can get a real gun and not this pea shooter. Because I'm going to need it if I'm going to take on three people at once. Where is my... Just stuff in there. Okay, let's get a gun. Let's get a real gun. Uh, is this fully auto? It is. Let's grab the... <sighs> Alright, siege, siege is coming. I gotta take care of these guys first, though. Um, 
So I'm going to take care of this first. And then hopefully we can just quickly go back to base and take care of the siege. How, what's the siege looking like? Okay, it's not bad. It's, it's only two level one sieges, so um, it'll probably be fine. My people have cannons anyways, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay. Pop. Pop. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. They did the voice line before I even killed them. Or, or after I killed them. That's funny. Also, why do their bodies always have to be in the doorway? Like, every time. It makes it so annoying to try and actually, like, loot them. Um, I'm not gonna worry about looting right now, since I've actually gotta go and deal with the siege. I will drop some stuff in here, though. We haven't had too many, like, actual dangerous sieges yet, which has been good. Um, mostly just screamers, which I'm not too worried about. But maybe we'll get a, a jug or a feral in one of these. Alright. And then after the siege, I am going to... Maybe finally take down one of these play cards. I know I keep Just saying that, but no one you know, okay, who ordered the pack of rotting zombies? Who ordered the pack of rotting zombies? I, I don't I don't know if anyone ordered them, but if anyone did, it was the screamers associated with them. Uh, see, that that's more zombies than I thought it would be. Use those cannons. Okay, there's the screamers. Ouch. Ouch. Please, sir, stop screaming. Alright, that siege was pretty underwhelming. I mean, they didn't even do, like, the whole, like, wave two scream. That, 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 was, that was pretty... That was actually kind of disappointing. That's okay. I'm sure they'll get me back good again. Um, but we should punish them for not giving me a good siege. So we're going to go take out a play card. I'm going to equip a heavy weapon, bring this AR-15 just for, for good measures. Uh, actually, I'm going to grab a couple of Molotovs too, just in case. And we're going to go screw a plague heart and then go deal with the missing person uh, I think oh yeah yeah let, let me just ask the screamer they, they'll be like yeah nah it's fine sorry dude we didn't realize we were being annoying and I flipped a car on another car uh, oh boy uh, whoops uh, no window stop it Windows, stop it. Uh, where did my shit go? Do, 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 do. Um, no, no one take my license. Wait, it's a zombie apocalypse. I don't think anyone's got a light. Like, I don't, I don't know if I need a license. I do not want to know what makes plague territory. I guess I will say that uh, if my if my other character's brother was still alive, he might pull me over. He was a cop. But uh, he is unfortunately dead. Not not of any fault by mine this time. I didn't do it. it. Wasn't me, Christopher. I confess it was me. But that Maya's brother. That that one was all him. He he. Oh wait, that was the guy that commits the the. He commit the un, un unaliving himself. I I didn't do that. Oh, I landed it. This is fine. 
All right, we're gonna go find this missing person. Uh, his friends, his friends were being a dick to him, so I'm, I'm pretty sure that that was the cause of him leaving. I think I actually get the opportunity to um, recruit this man too, instead of sending him back. Don't worry, I'm on it. All right, I'm just gonna walk. It'll be faster. Actually, it won't, but you know, it's fine. It gives a little bit of tension. Guys are gonna be upon me in a moment. So I'm gonna walk over this way. Alright, I think we can do this. Hopefully. Oh, there he is, cool. Survivor. He's got engineering. I think I'm just gonna recruit him. Yeah, I guess I'll take you. What are you waiting for? Go check out your new home already. Alright, Steve might get pissed off at me for this, but you know, in all honesty, Steve was kind of a dick. I mean, sure I did most of the work when I got them their new base, but they didn't have to say that. He did sort of help. I think he killed one zombie. Can't take that away from him. Alright. Alright, I think they're just... <laughs> They're upset. Yeah, you were a little too harsh on him. See, they're fine with it. They didn't even like the guy, I think. Grab that. Oh, wait, there's a gas station right here I can search. Oh, yeah, give me that. Give me that gas can. Boring. I need that gas. What are you talking about, character? Rucksack, not too bad. Ooh, a crossbow. I'll take it. A place to put that. I'll definitely take that. Refill. And then go grab that last thing that I don't even remember what it was. Crossbow bolts, obviously. To go with the crossbow. That in there, throw that in there, throw those. Okay, cool. Let's go deal with. Let's go deal with that play cart. I'm not going to deal with the weakened one, um, just because it's a little bit out of the way. I'd rather deal with the ones that's closer. Um, that way, I can also set up an outpost near there. I don't have a lot of outposts, and I'd like to start changing that. So that that'll be that'll be the plan for right now. Go take out that play cart and then leave the infestation hordes for now. I should start like trying to get a grasp of where some of the infestations are. Um, that way I know like what sites to avoid. Um, 
let me I, I, so far I, I think we're I think we're doing all right though so, I'd hate to see what this would be like on lethal zone especially because I'd be like trying to get gas up my ass you know just way too much stuff to do I'd probably have to like pick and choose what missions I was doing too a lot better because um it says there's a bloater here, but I have not seen that dude. Alright. Time for Plague Heart number one. And I went in the wrong area. So we'll just break some fences and drive some rocks and it's fine. Alright. I'm gonna wait before I use the... The... Okay, nice, I can just... Start hitting that bad boy. Oh, go, go, go. Alright. So there's gonna be some zombies coming at me now. Oh. Start killing them. Fucking it up here. Alright. I think we're good to go back in, deal some more damage to it. Kill this guy. Oh shit! I did not even see him. I saw him on the map, but I was like, I don't see the zombie, it's fine. Chop, chop, motherfucker. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out! Alright, zombie part two. Crouch and regain some stamina. Oh, they don't even see me. That's nice. What I'm going to do is I'm going to Fire in the hole. burn, bastards. All right, cool. That took out most of them. There should only be a couple. Run up and stab this guy. I have another task for you. Details and here we go. First plague heart is down. Grab our spoils of war here. Splitting them all, not too bad. I will take one of these. Then I will take the splitting mall and I will take the the juice for now. Yeah, that was that was a that was a good play guard. Got a little bit hurt during that, but I don't think that will be too big of an issue. Let's just head back to base. That way. Oh, there's a huge horde. We're just going to back up over these guys. Alright. And they're dead. It was a massacre, but it was good. Good massacre. Grab that plague sample, and on our way again. So I know that we have two quests in the queue, I think. Um, we're going to quickly take care of those. new guy is here now, so that's good. Right. I'm going to dump that fuel in there 
That way I get the standing, and then I'm going to take it back out for the quest. Yeah, you say we need to expand, but I don't know if we do, you know? Okay, they're not too far. That, that, that's good. That's good. So I'll go drop that off, and I think I might call it there. We've been running for a little while, um, but I might continue later. So deal with this quest. Yeah, I think that, that might be the goal, is to just sort of, every time there's a siege fight another play card or clear out another small area of the map um, that way because I, I don't want this run to take too long it's supposed to be more of the initial proof of concept for this type of play um, then we can move on to something a bit more interesting which would be the dread zone I just also didn't want it to take too too little get some entertainment out of it oh. Now. Oh, oh, I did not dodge in time. Get. Swinging that thing is satisfying. It's pretty satisfying. Alright. person. There you go. Grab the last remaining bodies of that. Hey. See if they have anything to trade. Yeah, why not? I'll take those meds. Uh, I don't think I need that though. I think I think. Oh, actually, I'll buy that gas can. Yeah, what do we got today? Yeah, why not? Stock up. Doesn't hurt to have more meds. We'll also just hit up this real quick. Nice luxury item. Can use that to get some get some new stuff, new influence. And yeah, with that, I think I will just call it there. Um, now that I'm back at base, uh, like I said, I'll probably continue this a little bit later. Um, but it's been almost almost two hours and 45 minutes, so that seems like a good time to stop, go eat some lunch, etc. Um, but I hope everyone enjoyed. And um, yeah, I will see you guys later.